Africa, the birthplace of mankind. But it's not the past that brings me here, it's the future. Africa has just been plugged into broadband. And as the World Wide Web grows and spreads across the continent, it's transforming all that it touches. The small town of Abiriu in Ghana is just one of the latest to be hooked up to the globe. I'm traveling with Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the man who invented the web. It's 20 years since he made his breakthrough, and now the divide between the digital haves and have-nots is shrinking fast. I think the web is about connecting humanity. Now that we've got to the point that 20, 25% of the world are using it, then suddenly the question is, uh, what about the other 80%? This community center may not look like much, but it's the new frontier of this virtual revolution. It was a little bit like going back in time to when people first came across the web. We wouldn't, in the early days, days have been anything like it's presumptuous as to say, how can we make sure this gets to the furthest reaches of rural Africa? But what exactly is it that we've created over the last 20 years? What does it mean? Is our wired digital world a blessing or a curse? If the web does take root in Africa as it has done elsewhere, then this will be the next continent to be reshaped by the digital revolution. But how has the web affected us in the 20 years since it was created? And what does that mean for the future of the people here and the majority of the world who aren't yet connected? 